Hey everybody, it's Brian again. Wanted to show you the uh, kale for this week. We've got another round that we need to harvest. You can see that it's really taken off again since our last harvest in the videos. I thinned it out again this last week and you can already see we've got a bunch of new growth. So like last weekend and so it's Saturday now so I did it last Sunday and then uh, you can see we've got more than I need to harvest off so this will probably give us at least two dinner salads that Paula and I will be eating, maybe three, depends on if our son eats any. But uh, you can see they got really nice, big, healthy leaves. A lot in here that I really need to come through. You can see the new growth is starting to get buried again, but the, you know it's starting to put on some nice, true leaves coming in through here. So I'll have to uh, thin this out and then thin that out as well because they're really tightly packed. But uh, you can see down in here, looking really nice, nice and healthy. I mean, look at the size of these leaves. These are beautiful. These make the best salads. You know, Paula takes these and uh, gives it a nice chopping, and we eat, we eat the ribs and everything. And you know, the, you know, a lot of people they don't like the center section, but these they're really tender. At this, you know, growing them indoors, you don't get that really tough kale to where you have to cut out that center rib of the leaf and just take the sides. But uh, I mean, this stuff is great. I mean, it's the best kale I've ever grown, and that's the reason why I've got two trays of this in my indoor grow tent for our winter. Uh, sustenance of uh, leafy greens because uh, the Vates kale man there's nothing that beats it for my opinion for growing it indoors all right well it's been brian from pmb homesteading talk to you again bye